Hi, I'm Dan with SL Gun Shop. We'd like to talk a little bit about gun safety and the proper storage and rules that you have when owning a gun. First thing you should do if you're new to shooting at all, you should seek proper instruction. We can't stress that enough. If you don't know how to properly operate and handle any piece of equipment, it can be a danger to you and the people around you. Uh, if you need help in finding instructors in your area, please let us know. We have a good uh, cadre of people that we can recommend who uh, we trust and, and feel that they do a great job in what they're doing. Secondly, when you go shooting, wear proper eye and ear protection. Firearms are dangerous devices and they have a lot of moving parts. A lot of things can happen in a firearm, uh, expelling hot gases, pieces of metal, and sometimes those can go to the back. The noise itself can be uh, injurious to your ears and your hearing, and you want to try to keep that hearing as long as possible. Be sure that your gun and your ammunition are in good shape and of good quality. You don't want to go out there with rusty ammo or dirty guns or things. Carry only uh, one gauge or type of ammunition at a time with your gun that you're shooting. One of the dangerous things you can do is load the wrong ammunition into a gun. It's either going to drop through the barrel or jam the gun because it's too big, or it could be uh, the type of ammo that would fit in the gun but not conducive to shooting in that gun and could cause a lot of problems. Be sure of your target. When you do go shooting, make sure that you know what's behind the target. Not only what you're shooting at, but what's behind it. Don't uh, just put a target on a tree and then uh, not look beyond that tree. There may be houses or buildings or other things or animals back there and you want to make sure you know what you're doing. Another big important one is don't mix alcohol and shooting together. Alcohol or any altering drug uh, can just cause all sorts of issues. It's best just to leave the, uh, the beer at home and have a celebratory toast after you've gone shooting and got the guns clean. Another big safety feature that we stress is keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. I know it's tempting to pick up the gun and grab the trigger just like you're going to be at the range, but you should always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Now keep an, the action of your gun open and unloaded when you're at the bench. Make sure that the gun is not loaded while just sitting there. Accidents can happen. Somebody can pick up a gun inadvertently and just pull the trigger and shoot it. And uh, they don't know, a lot of people don't know where that bullet's gonna go. Always point the muzzle in a safe direction. Never point the muzzle of the gun towards anybody. If you're shooting and you wanna turn around to talk to someone, don't take the gun and turn it towards them. That's a loaded gun with ammunition and you could accidentally shoot them. So if the target's downrange, keep the muzzle downrange. If you wanna talk to somebody, turn or put the gun down with it down range. Also, store your gun safely. Make sure that it's locked and in a proper container if you have children around and they're untrained. You don't want to have that gun to be a danger to someone accidentally. Now at SL Gun Shop we have partnered with the New Hampshire Safety Coalition and what we're doing is providing a pamphlet which is the gun safety rules. Now what I went through briefly was the 11 or the 10 commandments of gun safety, but the Gun Safety Coalition has added an 11th commandment. And this is very important right now in this times of high stress, uh, job loss and you know people, the economy, just everything the way it is. If you feel that somebody is a danger to themselves and they have firearms or you have firearms, perhaps you should store those away somewhere else. If you need more information on that, contact us or contact the Firearm Safety Coalition. Their website is nhfsc.org. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. If you need any more information, give us a call at 603-878-2854 or find us on the web at slgunshop.com.